Welcome to a new video today I'm going to show you how you can start using the animation curves to animate in Krita so you can start tuning your drawings and make faster animation. So the first thing is I'm going to show you one of the big problems with Krita and then I'm going to show you the right way to do it. So Windows, if you go to Windows, go to Workspace and select Animation and you should get Animation Timeline and Animation Curves, okay? If you don't have that, go to Settings and then go to Dockers and then you will find their Animation Curves and Animation Timeline. So make sure you have those on and now I'm going to show you. So I'm going to create a circle and we want to animate this, right? So the problem with the Animation Curves is that if we try to animate uh, our painting layer if we're gonna try to animate it let's see what happens so i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna create in a keyframe in the frame no number zero and i'm gonna select this sign that is the to add a key so i'm gonna add a key and we get this we can only animate opacity in this layer so this is kind of uh useless because we don't want to animate only opacity, right? We want to move, we want to transform, and we want to scale our ball. So if we try this with the painting layer, this is the only thing we can get. So unless you are animating a ghost or someone disappearing all the time, then the, the tool is pretty useless if we use it like this. So what we actually need is a transformation mask, okay? So I'm going to show you how you can actually create some cool animation and faster animation but we can't use the paint layer so this is very important never try to animate the paint layer because we won't be able to animate this layer so i'm going to show you how you can start animating with Krita with the animation curves so i'm just going to make a quick animation again i'm just going to do a bouncing ball and I'm going to show you how you can start animating with the curves. So select the circle, create a ball, and then we are going to go to our paint layer. And because Krita doesn't let us animate in the painting layer, we have to create a mask. So we go to add and then we create a transformation mask. So we click the transform mask and now we can go to animation curves. Okay. So once we have our ball over here, we're going to make it a bit smaller, just uh, to make it a bit nicer. And we are going to the animation curves and here we are going to the frames here, right? And then we are going to click on this, uh, this over here, this sign, and boom, we click it and look at this. We get all these attributes on the left and we get all these keyframes. So we are going to go to frame 24 and we are just going to click it again and we are then going to frame uh, 12 and we are going to select our ball and we're going to move it down, okay? And if you can see, we get this movement. This is the movement in our position Y, okay? So that's why it is uh, like this because it's moving down and then it's uh, coming back to the same place. So if we go to our timeline and we select all these frames, we are going to get some animation. Let's see. See, you already get some animation. And this is actually a pretty fast way to create a, a, our animation. But we want to make it a bit smoother. So we are going to go to the animation curves. We are going to select the points we want to make uh, nicer. and. So we're going to the Y, okay? And we wanna make a better animation. So we are going to click over here in the Bezier curve interpolation and we're gonna click it. And once we click it, we get this point a bit gray out. So we wanna select the point and we are going to move it. There you go. We are going to move it and we're gonna leave it like that. And I'm gonna do the same with this point I'm gonna select it and there you go. And now let's see our animation, how it looks. We're gonna play it. And if you see, this is a way nicer animation. This is smoother animation and it's actually pretty fast to do. So it's a good tool to start animating and creating some cool animation. Now we are going to scale it just to make it nice and just to make it a bit more uh, elastic more bouncy so we're just gonna scale it a 
and look at this we have a really nice animation pretty simple pretty easy to do and really really fast so I'm just gonna show you another way you can use this uh, tool I'm gonna make a taco and I'm gonna make it run and I'm just gonna show you how you can also create an animation and then mm, transform your animation with this tool so I mean this is not the most amazing tool ever this is not the best interface but it is pretty good for a painting software so I'm just gonna show you how you can apply the transformation mask in your animation so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a character in this case it's a taco so I will put the floor and I will draw the four poses for the run cycle basically we are just drawing the passing position the up down and the contact and I'm gonna choose a nice background just to make it a bit nicer and once we are ready we're gonna go to our layer and we are going to create a transformation mask again remember we need the transformation mask so we can start animating once we're in the transformation mask we're gonna go to our curves and we are going to set a new keyframe okay and before we do that I also want to make my taco a bit bigger because it's a bit small so I want it to be uh, a bit nicer in the frame and we're gonna select our taco in frame zero and we're gonna drag it to the left now we can't see the taco but don't worry we know it's there so now we're gonna go to frame 18 around there and we are going to select our taco and drag it all the way to the right because we're gonna make him run from left to right and you're gonna see how easy it is to just uh, create this animation so once we have that we're gonna select everything and we are going to play and it's actually pretty good uh, there's a couple of problems because it's going a bit fast and we don't have enough frames for the run so I'm gonna grab my position X and I'm gonna drag it to the frame 36 and I'm going to select all my keyframes and I'm going to play the animation now as you can see uh, after it renders it's going way slower but we are missing something we are missing the position of the tackle we are missing the contact the up and the down so I'm just gonna copy and paste these frames so I'm just going to grab my keyframes and I'm just gonna copy and paste them in the timeline and as you can see the taco now is running it's feeling better and this is actually a pretty easy way to do animation so if you want to create animations like this this is a great way to use the animation layers they are pretty useful if you know how to use them and you can also scale and mm, rotate so it's easier to do some animations so if you like this video just subscribe give it a like and i'll see you in the next video bye bye